Welcome to another Fast Tips video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to deal with a problem that lots and lots of Access users have if you're sharing a database on a network. I'm going to show you how to hide your Access backend folder from prying eyes. Okay, so here's the problem. You've got your database set up on a network. You've got a server, whether it's a Windows server or just a PC running Windows, whatever. You've got a shared folder that your split database backend file is in. The problem is that everyone can see that backend folder. In order for access to use the database to, to access those tables, everyone's got to have read-write access to that folder, which leads to some problems. If you can't trust everyone on your network, someone could delete that file. They could download a copy of it. They could do whatever they wanted to it. One of the problems with access is that it doesn't have that kind of security built in. If you need that kind of security, Microsoft wants you to upgrade to SQL Server. However, that's beyond the budget of a lot of small businesses. There is, however, a solution that I recently came across. It's a program called Hide Folders from FS Pro Labs. You can hide the folder that your database is sitting in, your backend folder. It'll hide it from Windows File Explorer, so people that are browsing along the network, they won't see it, but Access can still get a hold of that folder and use it, and you can put your backend file there safely. And as long as you use a folder name that people can't easily guess, and you take some security precautions on your front-end file, you should be pretty secure. So the first thing you're going to do is go to your server computer, whatever machine your actual database backend file is sitting on, and you're going to download and install Hide Folders by FS Pro Labs. There's a link right there. I'll also put a link down below in the description below the video that you can click on. It'll take you right there. It is free for 30 days, so you can install it and try it and make sure it works for you. Beyond that, it's $39.95 to buy it. Of course, it's currently March of 2022, so if you're watching this in the future, this may have changed, but as of right now, those are their terms. Now, full disclosure, I did sign up for their affiliate program for recommending people to their software. However, I endorse very few products, and this is one that I love. I just came across this. So I do recommend it. I did sign up as an affiliate. I will get a small commission if you decide to purchase it. Yay me. But anyways, let me show you how to set it up and how it works. Before we get started, if you've never split a database before and set it up on a network, so you've got a front end and a back end, right? Your front end has all your forms and your queries and all that stuff on it. And that's what the users get. Your back end goes up on the server and that's what all the, has all the tables in it. If you've never done that before, go watch my split database video right now before you watch the rest of this. Okay, so here I am on my workstation PC. This is where I do all my development work. I got a copy of my tech help database right there. That is a single database file, right? It's got everything in it. I'm going to split it in just a minute. Over here is my server folder, right? My server machine. It's mapped to a Z drive. I usually use a mapped drive letter on all the different machines. I think it's easier. All right, and I'm in a folder called test database folder. That's where we're going to put this guy. And then we're going to hide that on the server. So first, let's split this guy. All right, let's open this up. And then we'll go database tools, move to access database, split it. Where are you going to go? We're going to drop it on the Z drive in my test database folder and then hit split. And there it goes. Database successfully split. And now you can see over here all these tables are now linked. Now, here's the thing. You have to make sure when you distribute your front end that you turn off the navigation pane, all right? And I'll talk about this more toward the end of the video. But notice here, if I hover over these, I can see exactly where that's located, all right? Z test database folder tech help backend.accdb. You don't want your users knowing where these are located, all right? Anyways, let's close this. So here's my front end. There's my back end. Now, let's go over to the server and hide this folder. I'm going to close this right here for now. Okay, now here I am over on the server. This is the server machine. It's a Windows 10 machine running the database, and that's how a lot of companies are set up. This, this also works on Windows Server. Now, on my server, I also have a Z drive mapped, but 
what you want to do is you want to find the actual physical drive that has your database in it. So in this case, it's C database, and there's my folder right there. You got to hide it on your local drive. You can't hide the mapped drive, okay? So this is actually C database test database folder. So go over to hide folders. We're going to go to add. We're going to browse right here. Go to this PC, and then it's C local disk, and then database. And there it is right there, my test database folder. Hit OK. Now down here, there's a bunch of options. What you want is hide. All right. There's hide and then there's hide and lock. If you lock it, then access can't read, write it and can't use it. Okay, so you just want to pick hide. That, that way, access and other applications can read and write to this folder, but the user won't see it. That's what's important. Okay, so hit OK. And then once you do that, look, over here, it disappeared. It's gone. It's still there, right? And access will still use it, but it doesn't show up if your users browse to that folder. So what you want to do is, is pick a name, too. Like, you can make this, you know, my database 165z lmnop right use a name that your user won't guess okay so now let's switch back over to the workstation pc and see if i can see that folder okay i'm back over on the workstation now let's go to the database folder z and look at that it's not there right that that folder that we hid is gone and I just tested it. Even if the user does type in Z test database folder and press enter, Windows won't browse to it. Okay, so your applications will still use it, but you can't browse to it in Windows File Explorer. All right, now let's see if Access can still open up that linked database. Oh, look at that. There we go. See, it's still able to work with it, but you can't browse to it, which is cool. So now over here, keep in mind, they can still see what this is. And you could, I mean, if if you get a user on your network who's a real, you know, computer guy and decides he wants to mess with this, yeah, you can use other applications to read, write, delete files. You just can't use Windows File Explorer. Okay, but like Access can get a hold of these. So what you want to do, first of all, is you want to hide your navigation pane. Okay, now I got whole other videos showing you how to do this stuff. So I'm not going to go through it here again, but I'll give you some links. All right, we started off with the split database video. Go watch that if you don't know how to split a database. My simple security video, I will show you how to do things like turn off the navigation pane, disable the ribbon, and stuff like that. I'll also show you how to encrypt the front end file so the user can't get in there and play with your forms and stuff. One way to keep people out of your database is to use the runtime version. If you've got people on your network that just have to use the database, but they don't need to develop in the database, you know, work on forms and reports and stuff, install the runtime version on their computer. It makes it much less likely for them to go in there and mess with stuff. If you really want to learn how to lock down your database, check out my security seminar. I cover all kinds of different ways to lock down your database. We go through setting up security inside the database with user logons. You can control what users have access to what forms or reports. You can create a detailed log of who does what inside the database. And of course, I show you how to fully lock down your front end. With a little bit of VBA code, we can make it so that navigation pane is completely hidden, the ribbon is gone, and your users can not possibly get that back, even if they download your file. And if you're super concerned about security, you can actually delete the tables in your front end, distribute it to your users, and then in your VB code, you can manually link to those tables as the user needs them, so that path doesn't even get stored in the front end. That's covered in the extended cut for members for my Relink Tables video. Before I go, I also want to mention, for those of you using Access Database Cloud, which is a service that lets you share your Access Database online over the internet with anybody anywhere, and it's super easy to use, Hide Folders also works wonderfully here. This way you can hide your shared folder or a subfolder of the shared folder, if you still want to use the shared folder for Word documents or whatever. But you can hide your database folder, and that way the other users on your cloud PC won't know where the backend file is. So again, go and install hide folders. I'm going to open up File Explorer and go into my shared folder on the C drive. Now, I have a database that I've split into this database 82736142 folder. All right, there's my backend. All right, each user gets their own copy on the front end. 
but this is what I want to hide. Okay, so open up hide folders, go to edit list, add. I'm going to browse this PC, C drive, shared folder. And there's my database folder. Hit OK, pick hide, and then hit OK again. And as soon as you do that, that folder should disappear. Okay, you can close this now and open up your database and notice that it still works. Okay. And if you log on to any other Cloud PC accounts that you have, you'll notice that that database folder is gone, but you've already linked the front end to it, so it should work just fine. Special thanks to Joe Richardson, founder and CEO of Access Database Cloud. I was exploring using his service because I want to offer it to all of you guys. And uh, I just mentioned to him, I'm like, is there any way that we could hide that shared folder? And he's like, yeah, he found FS Pro for me. And I've been doing this for almost 30 years, and I never knew you could hide a folder like that. So thanks a lot, Joe. And if you guys want to check out Access Database Cloud, there's a link right there. I've got a whole video series on how to use it on my website. So there you go. That, to me is one of the most useful fast tip videos that I've done. It wasn't exactly fast. <laughs> I mean, I try to keep these like three, four minutes. This one's about 12 minutes so far. But if you want to be able to hide and secure that backend folder without having to upgrade to SQL Server, I'm telling you, it's, it's the best $39 you'll spend. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.